I think it's really the symbolism of the Sinn Féin victory. I mean, we've just celebrated the centenary of Northern Ireland and we're about to celebrate the Jubilee of Her Majesty. And what do we have as the leading party in our parliament here in Northern Ireland? Sinn Féin, which for decades was the mouthpiece of the provisional IRA, a party that can't even use the name Northern Ireland, such is its dislike of the state here. So basically, we're in a situation here, really, uh, I would say that Brandon Lewis hasn't a snowball's chance in the flames of hell of getting a Northern Ireland executive up and running by this week, because the Democratic Unionist Party, who finished runner up with 25 seats uh, in the Assembly, uh, has basically said it's the protocol or the executive. So what really Brandon Lewis, if he is serious about getting devolved administration back up and running here, and especially executive, he's got to get the protocol addressed. And he's only got about 24 hours because it's the Queen's speech tomorrow. OK, all right, Kevin, I'm just going to lob it over to you now. I think some people are very concerned about this vote, to be honest with you, what it might mean at, at the border. Obviously, Sinn Féin's past. We all are very well aware of all of that. Is there any potential danger around the corner, do you think? I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think we're, we're, out of, we're out of that phase. And I think this result, it is seismic. I mean, Northern Ireland, of course, was created as a, a corrupt unionist fee for 101 years ago and governed as one for 50 years, which gave us the troubles. And of course, we had 30 years of that. And we've had 20 years of stop-start political progress ever since. And, and over that period, over the last 20 years, 23 years since the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, um, Sinn Féin has been inching forwards electorally. This is now their strategy. Their strategy is to buy into politics absolutely wholesale, make a full commitment to it and, 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 and go through the institutions. Now, that's what they've done for 23 years. It was very close in 2017. Sinn Féin was only 100, uh, 1,100 votes behind the DUP then. So I think there's been a lot of sense that this, this moment was, was going was to culminate with Sinn Féin topping the poll. And of course, they did that in, in, with, with quite a margin, 29% of the vote to the DUP's 21% of the vote. Um, so, so it's seismic, it's significant. It's, as John says, it is hugely symbolic. Um, of course, the office of um, first minister is a joint office with the deputy first minister. So, so, so in a sense, you know, you, you can't just take control of the thing and run away with it. You know, this is not like winning a British general election, as again, as John, John says quite reasonably. So, so really, the question is for, for unionists to say, you know, do you respect not only the, the result of the election, but do you respect the institutions of the Good Friday Agreement? And what we're getting back at the moment is, no, we don't, we don't support them and we don't respect them. Now, that represents, I don't think, an existential crisis, but it does represent a significant bump in the road. 